Lily Mooney admits that her relationship with exercise is not always positive because she ties their shoes for one of their weekly runs. But they are not always positive. At the age of 12, he developed an unhealthy relationship with food and was the intense running routine masking a underlying eating disorder. I started running and exercising and as a way to control my guilty feelings when it comes to eating, said. Mrs. Mooney has not always had a healthy relationship with exercise. Now 29. Mrs. Mooney was officially diagnosed with anorexia nervosa and excessive exercise when he was 15 years old. When I was diagnosed with anorexia, I was no longer allowed to run. Ms. Miss Mooney said. I used to go out and walk for hours. And I would secretly do these strange exercises. I'm not sure they did nothing. But just check this sound in my head to tell me that I had do X. Y. Z because I ate X. Y. Z. Compulsive exercise anorexia is a common sign the behaviors and symptoms defined by Ms. Mooney are not unusual in people who are diagnosed with anorexia nervosa. Lily Mooney gets rid of eating disorder and likes to run again. In 2014, researchers from Sydney University said that approximately 50 to 80 percent of people living anorexia nervosa experienced excessive or compulsive exercise. According to Journal of Eating Disorders, the likelihood of eating disorders compared to overall population is four times higher. Danny Rowlands, head of the Kellebeck Foundation, said that these figures worsened with the increasing use of social media. We see that it is celebrated and that being disciplined is placed in a parenthesis or a voluntary person, said. People are promoted and pushed in many different arenas when people do not get permission one day. While exercising through injuries, through disease and training. If someone is trying to spend the rest of the rest and they see content social media. He says movement. This can be a very trigger. The joy of running again Lily Mooney's family joins her in park runs. After getting rid of eating disorder. Mrs. Mooney started running again. Initially admitted that he brought his traumatic past to the agenda. Since then he has helped to protect positive mental health. My mother I think she joined me because she didn't want me to go back to the habits of exercising. Again he said. Said. We both enjoyed so much that he told me about park run. And I think we've done it every weekend since then. Frankly. I like to run and force myself. But friendships that really make me come back and get up in the morning of the cold Canberra. Lily Mooney says she has made strong friendships in the running group. If you or someone you know needs help Kellebeck National Assistance Line 1-800-33-4673 Kellebeck. National Assistance Line 1-800-33-4673 Eating Disorders Families Australia 1395626 Eating Disorders Queensland 07-3844-6055 Professionals Refront Identity in Eating Disorders Eating Disorders at 1-3-11-14 Professionals who are 